right hello everyone and welcome to this very juicy live because it is valentine's day and very soon and so today i want to talk about the obvious topic which is sex and sleep so here's a couple of reasons why you should get your snooze on before you get your socks on or all the other stuff, right? Whatever rocks your boat. But here's the science behind why it is absolutely worth having a good snooze before Valentine's Day or in general, what the effect of sleep issues or sleep, you know, conscious sleep deprivation might have on your sex life. So first things first, whenever we sleep, um, especially during our deep sleep, we get a lot of reparation done. So we have hormone levels that will go out of balance during the day due to different reasons, stress, excitement, all kinds of different things. And come nighttime during deep sleep, they basically recalibrate, right? Now, the problem is, though, if we don't sleep enough, our body doesn't get the time to recalibrate all of it. And we are also much less resilient towards stress. And one of the effects is that suddenly our body starts to prefer the stress hormone like cortisol to our other steroid hormones or sex hormones like testosterone and estrogen. And a side effect of that is that you will have a loss of libido. So you will basically not feel like, you know, having it go on or, you know, just taking the time or just, you know, you just won't feel like it, which is a shame really. So even if you manage to do it, you know, even if you say, okay, it's Valentine's Day, I mean, this once a year thing, <laughs> I'll have to do it. Hopefully that's not the case, but you know, um, you want to enjoy it. And in order to do so, you will want to have energy because it's just making you feel more awake. It's more motivating. And studies have shown that people who had a good night's sleep are much more motivated to have sex in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. It doesn't matter. They're just more horny, they're horny than other people. Whereas when you have people who are sleep deprived, they just don't feel like it. Like, And if they do, it's just like this. Okay, let's get it over thing. I know the moves. Tuck, tuck, tuck. We're done. Right. So you don't want to have that. Like you want to enjoy your sex life with your partner. And so sleep is for that scientific reason. And also just in general for energy levels, just a little priority that you should think about. Now, here's the thing though. Sometimes it goes the other way around. Sometimes we have a hormone imbalance. So we have an estrogen imbalance or testosterone imbalance or other steroid hormones imbalance, and that is affecting our sleep. So it's sleep. So it's other, actually the other way around. If that is the case, sleeping can of course help, but you, you would like to, but you can't. That is when you come to me because I can help you get that back on track, right? So you know what to do. You have a couple of days left, left to prepare I hope you have lots and lots of fun and you know what, you can let me know how it was, you know, just send me a quick text and let me know if you had fun and if you had a good snooze beforehand and afterwards, you know. So I wish you have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful week and um, I'll see you next Monday. <laughs> Bye.